Hello everybody, welcome back to yet again another episode of Elm Creek. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video, uh, basically we're setting up for the auction that I'm going to hold tomorrow. Um, it's been known, I, um, it's been known since September. And I just got fin finished eating my lunch after harvesting. Um, basically I'm setting up for this auction, for said auction. And we're getting rid of, uh, basically our tractors and stuff. Or, just anything I don't necessarily want. Now, I did say I think we're getting this one sent back to the people of Gary's place. Uh, his son's gonna buy it off of me. And I, I was told here, just bring it up to me today if you'd like. Just take, bring it up to the farm. Just, 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 just do that I'll give you a... Slide you a couple grand, so he's giving me like 20 grand for it, considering the mileage, the uh, uh, sentimental value. I, I'm just giving it to him for a cheap price. He said uh, 20 grand is fine. Uh, he gave me that price, I didn't give it to him, so that's kind of what we're doing. So I'm just giving it to the farm. I have an Uber there on his way. I told him to meet me there for me. So, um, shout out to that guy. Um, yeah, basically, this truck is being back to this family, so, uh, yeah, I'll get the nice money, a eh, for that. So, <laughs> yeah, um, and tomorrow, 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 we gotta talk about it, um, we're going to an auction. Yeah, 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 you heard me right, we're going to an auction, um, or no, not tomorrow, tomorrow is my auction. And today we're setting up for it, which I think we're going to go ahead and do it in today's episode as well. Let's go this right here. But basically, I'll be doing... I'm going to be setting up for my auction today, and then I'm just going to go ahead and record it as well. Um, and then we're going to go straight into that other auction. Probably buy more junk that I'm not going to use at the other farm. Because why not, you know? But yeah, that's the big goal out of everything here so I'm, I'm excited I really am so I'm I'm ready I, I, I'm ready so I think I see him coming so I'll just see you guys uh, when we get back to the farm quick trip I know that was very quick um, another thing I'm going to be getting rid of is not this we're keeping this truck this truck is what will be coming with us um, I have, I'm having a huge transportating company come in to get most of my stuff to help me uh, move. Um, the trailer, this little trailer right here, yeah, well, well, we don't really need it anymore. So it's going to go ahead and come with us. The bread that the, uh, the, br uh, the bakery produced, I said, hey, sell it at your place. I'm sure you can make a nice profit. And they, they agreed, so that's what they're doing. All that bread's going to be there. They're going to be making that bread. If that makes no sense, because it didn't. Um, yeah. So now we don't have our 2017 pickup truck. And now we have just our TLX and a little 86. So, um, I'm not too sure what else we're going to need. We're going to, we're basically setting up today. This stuff will for sure be set up. Maybe. I do see that... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually do set this up, I think, just cause it will be nice. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep this for sale with the farm, uh, just because whoever buys the actual farm is gonna need these for these particular for this particular silo system that's here. So I'm actually gonna leave those here. There is stuff in here I wanted to get rid of. So I just got to figure out what the heck it is. I think it was this. I think. I believe it was this. This. And this. Or no. It was just this trailer and the cultivator. So I need to get a tractor. Uh, let's get the f uh, 5S. The Massey over here. My little garden tractor. We are keeping this tractor. It's a good snowblower tractor. And just a good garden tractor overall. So I'm actually gonna use it today to help with the thing. Um, but yeah, that we're gonna be using it, of course. Um, yeah, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get 
right here. Get in here. Should be able to just back this thing out. A roller here. And park it if I can. This actually does make life easier having a front hitch on this thing. And actually, if I can actually if I get innovative here, I can get on the cultivator and then hook the trailer up. If I just get smart, I guess you could say. If I am, that is. And I can't. So how about that? Yeah, this cultivator was handy while I had it. And now I didn't really have it for long. Didn't really use it much either. But it was nice to have. And it was handy, so. Um yeah. Um, it's gonna be one of those things we're getting rid of with everything else. So yeah. And everything's going to be gone early per se. Um, you're gonna see it's gone. Um, the company comes in tomorrow after the auction. After I have the set auction to end. Um, I know it's very kind of unprofessional of me to not just just put the equipment in a field. I know it's very unprofessional, and I don't apologize for that. It's my auction, not yours. I mean, there's plenty of auctions to be going around today, and I'm just holding mine first. Mine's equipment, so is the other one. Except the other one's a shutting down farm, and so is, well, technically so is mine too, actually. Um, because my farm is also kind of technically shutting down. So, um, how about that? Um, yeah. Anyway, we are keeping the gator. So, that'll be a nice to have for the thing. Um, the pressure washer, uh, that'll come with us. I'm going to want that. That step deck trailer will also be coming with us. I'm just going to pack some personal things on it. Come with it. So, um, this, this for sure is in the auction. Two harvesters, I know. Hopefully we sell it all. If not, I'm just going to give it to the... Clever motors down the road, cause I know they'll take it if I, if no one else does. They'll give it a good bath, fuel it up, work on it mechanically, and then sell it for double the price, cause that's what people do these days. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and position this opposite of the trailer, cause I'm trying to make this look semi-professional. I know it's on a cultivated field. I know it's so professional of me, but this is where I want it. So. Yeah, uh, that'll go there. Oh, the skid steer. Uh, I'm kind of debating. The seed's going to come with the farm. Ooh, this is a toughie because... <laughs> I know this sounds funny. Um, I don't know if I want to keep... I don't know if I want to keep the skid steer or sell it. Um, I think we'll keep it because you never know when you're going to need a skid steer at another place. We're going to go ahead and keep it. Um... Let's get it transported and all that, so. Um, I think there was there may have been something else. Probably the telehandler. Or I might just bring that with me. No. I think I'm going to take the telehandler with me. Um, this truck we're keeping. Um, actually got it for pallets and stuff. And this will actually probably come in big handy. And this. Uh, we're keeping this. I think I said that in the last episode. I gotta keep that. Um, the 6M. Now, I know I sound ridiculous when I say this, but all, well, d yeah. I'm probably going to get rid of the 8RX and the cultivator that I have on it. And I'm probably, well, actually, let me think about that. Probably not, we'll see. Um, I'm selling, I'm going to go ahead and do the 6R. I, say, I called it a 6M, didn't I? 6R, um. These bills are coming to sh uh, come with the farm, because why not? So, basically all this baling equipment. We're going to keep the 8RX in the cultivator. I might as well. Um, oh boy. We picked up the bales. Alright, um, just unload those. Can I do that, please? I want to unload these bales. Can I do that? Um, I did not mean to pick those up. A <laughs> little blooper. I'm just going to keep it up. Operating position. There we go. But, oh, no. There we go. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. All right that should be good. All right. Just, 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 just run away. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, all the all the bailing equipment that'll be sold. 
I'm actually not gonna have too too much to sell here. I mean, I'll, I'll have a I'll have a variety, so that's cool. Um, um, I'll have a trailer here, so whoever wants a trailer can have a trailer. Uh, the, everything here is actually slightly used, but the six R um, that is actually not really slightly used at all. So um, the Phoenix, we'll get that back. You'll I'll be driving it back of, at the beginning of uh, tomorrow. You'll see. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the baler. It's a nice baler. Um, probably gonna need to get something bigger, something nicer out of it. So not bad though. Um, yeah. All right, we're gonna go over this way. Hopefully we do sell a lot. I'm hoping we do. Hopefully we do. If we do, that's cool. I'm uh, actually very for it. So I, I need to sell more. I really do. So all right, do that. Now the shop has, I actually, speaking of uh, whatever doesn't get sold goes to the shop, uh, the shop has agreed, uh, whatever does not get sold at the auction, my auction tomorrow, they will straight up buy, they will come in and buy all of it. So I don't have to worry about any extra equipment, uh, they said whatever does not get sold they're going to go ahead and actually uh, do it, which I'm probably not going to film the auction, just because people probably don't want to be recorded while trying to... Uh, look at equipment. Maybe they'll give me a price. It's not really necessarily an auction. It's more of just a yard sale. They give me a price. I think it's fair. I take it. I know I know every piece of equipment here I'm at estimated value. I know what I want for it, and if they get in that range, a little below it, I might just cut them a deal there. But I'm not just going to say, here, you can have it for uh, 500 bucks to you. <laughs> that case tractor, I'm selling it for at least 15 to 25, maybe 30k. <coughs> <clears throat> Maybe even less. If someone th if someone throws me a nice deal, I will take it. I will 100% take it. No questions asked. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to that front mower. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of my plan. Let's see if I can back into this. I'm dying. Okay, we died. Congratulations, died. All right. Um, there we go. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, this six R. Ooh, wait, this six R. I was I was trying to think I was like well this six R I feel like I've had it for forever, and that's because I have this tractor is Gary's old tractor. I know Gary's son's gonna be there. He's also gonna be at that auction I'm attending, or tractor sale. It's not really an auction I know. Um, yeah. But he's he's gonna be there too, so you know, yeah. I will have some fees to pay for moving out, probably. So we'll see. We'll see about that. Um, actually, I'm just going to keep this all one deal. Not really one deal, but the mowers are separate, but the mowers are going to be sold together. So if you buy, want to buy one, you have to buy both. So if you don't like it, too bad. Or if you just throw me that good a video, I might just take it. So I think out of everything I own, I think we actually have all of it. That's actually surprising. That did not take us long. Um, telehandler, uh, I don't want to, I just don't think I'm going to need it. Um, if I don't need it, uh, I'm just going to sell it there. I think we have everything we're going to keep. So, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Alright, cool. Alright, well, I will see you guys tomorrow the auction will start around nine i'm gonna get my phoenix at eight so i can start packing up what i want because we're gonna be leaving here in december i think probably november 2nd so but we got a lot of packing to do so um yeah i'll, I'll see i'll see you guys tomorrow while this auction gets set up well i'm here at the dealership to pick up my truck today's auction day as we all know. Um, yeah. We're just gonna drive this home. We're gonna get everything that I'm taking with me. I'm driving the semi there. All the way there with my stuff on the flatbed. While everything else gets shipped by truck. Which I think I may have over-ordered trucks. Yeah, there's no such thing. But, um, we're, there is equipment that we're gonna need to buy when we arrive. Um, I do know what land I'm going to be owning. It's a lot, actually. There is a lot of land out there, trust me. 
Um, so yeah. Now, there is one thing. I am going to have to, like, uh, not load up my TLX 2020. Because tomorrow is the auction that I'm going to, not the one I'm hosting. So, um, I am going to have to show you guys this truck, too. Um, it's going to be running grain cart, mostly. So, that's the main reason I... I don't know. That's how we're going to get it. There's a lot of things we're going to need to buy for uh, stuff. Yes, this is it. It's blocked out. Call it the Speed Demon. Um, it's got a red frame to signify the blood of the ones that couldn't pass me. Not really. And then black because that's cool. So it doesn't look too bad hooked up to this. So I'm just get it pulled out here. People are probably going to start pulling in around 8.30. So I have a little bit of time to get what I want to take with me on the main on this truck, which I think I know what all I am taking. I'm going to go ahead and blow the gator and both my pickup trucks and the full wheel. And the dog, uh, they'll, but they'll ride with me in here. So, yeah. I ain't going to let her, let her, um, uh, just stay here like I had to, like I, well, yeah, but you know what I mean. Um. Yeah, the dog is fine. Don't worry. Same dog from Spectacle Island, which I find surprising, you know. I think. Is it? I can't even remember at this point. It is the dog from Spectacle Island. How can I forget? I swear to you, I'm not retarded in any way, shape, or form. I might need to do this in a different order. Just for the simple fact that this trailer is smaller than I intended. For I thought it was going to be. I do have an idea though. Will that work? Maybe. We'll find out. It involves using the full wheeler and a skid steer. We get the full wheeler on the top part. Then we get the skid steer to lift her up. Now, will this work? Probably not. Is it worth a shot? Yes. Um, we just gotta figure that out for sure. So, oh boy, oh boy, come on, come on, climb up, there we go. Let's see if I can just hit it with speed, alright, did nothing, alright. Let's see if I can get a skid steer to just get under the tires and tell it lift it, you know? Hopefully it can. I don't want to be causing a scene while people are looking at my equipment. I want to try to do this before. The auction ends at 3, so anything that doesn't get bought, the guys from Clever Motors will come down and load it all up and pay. So This actually worked, and I'm very surprised. Awesome. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just strap it down there. Strap down the... Uh, like the, the footrest area, kind of. Yeah, that'll that'll fit the truck good. All right, this will be hauled on a separate load, probably with the 5S. The other semis will probably get loaded up too. So hopefully there's enough room for the 2020, because I want to fit as much as I can on this load, and not the next. So the Gator, I'm gonna try try my best to get this thing on here the best I can. Not taking up too too much space. Actually, if I think about it, I could could move this up forward until like right right there. Strap the axle down. Get the skid steer again and lift the front end of the gator up. I know it, it probably won't be safe for the engine, but it's worth a shot to try to do to save space. Then again, the oil. I'm um, going to need to change it anyway, and yeah, um, I don't think it's going to be too huge of a deal. Hopefully not. Um, I'm thinking it won't, but I, don't, I can't be too sure. I'm not that much of a mechanic, you know, I'm a farmer. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be part mechanic, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I guess if I can, if I can do a punch with a semi, then... That's good enough. All right, let's go ahead and drive the. Oh, not that, but this. Just kind of drive it forward. 
an awful hill. This is very dangerous and sketchy, by the way, so do not try this at home. I beg you. Uh, hopefully it works. And it did. Nice. Uh, we should. Should. Should, should, should. Big should. Hopefully be able to fit up the 86, because the 2020 is what we're going to be taking. Now, now that I think about it, I probably didn't over-order things. Just for the simple fact that... Um, I will be going to an auction tomorrow, and I don't know what I'm going to see or what I'm going to buy. So, I don't know what I'm getting yet. And that's a problem. It's actually a problem. Because I don't know what I'm getting. And... Um, I don't know what they have down there. They're probably setting up today, because the auction is tomorrow. And I'm not taking a trailer with me, so... Um, I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do, and I probably overthunk this, because I probably should have done this the day I leave. Not today, instead of trying to be prepared. Because now I'm not going to have a trailer to bring home stuff. I, th I really think this through. Oh, I'm a very genius. That's okay. I have an idea. <coughs> oh boy. I'll rent a trailer from the shop today, real quick. And boom, we'll be good. Um, yeah. Right, we're just gonna go ahead and park this over here. And if someone asks if all this is for sale, the answer is no. Right, we're gonna head to the shop real quick. I'm gonna hop in the super liner here. <coughs> Man. Let's throw it her up. Alright, I need to look at low loaders. Um I think we'll go with the Demco one. It's cheaper. And we're just gonna lease for a thousand four hundred bucks. Not bad. Alright, we'll just lease that for the moment. And, yeah, we'll head to the shop here real quick. Try to make this quick as simple. So I can, uh, get back here for when the first flock of people decide to arrive. This will last about six hours, because it ends at three. I have a couple pieces of equipment here. I know it's not big. I posted pictures of what's going to be there. And I had, like, several people say, hey, I want to show up, man. And I'll give it a look. I can't guarantee I'll buy anything, but I'll give it a look. So I was like, thanks, I guess. That works. Cool. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of kind of the big deal now. So I, get pe I do have people coming in, locals, of course. Some, some out of states. There are farmers that tend to visit the area. They're like, hey, I'll buy this. That's cool. I want that. And so they do. So... I don't think I've ever used a Demco trailer before. I think that's how the shop uses. They do sell Load King trailers, but I think for the shop, because it's cheaper, they uh, they do the Demco stuff, because cause it's cheaper, and it looks nicer. Kinda. So. But yeah. Um. I guess I'll probably start recording when the auction's over. I don't really want to record. So I'll probably be back with you guys at like 3. Just to show you guys what all is left. Hopefully every... A lot... Or hopefully everything... Yeah, hopefully everything. Hopefully most of everything gets bought. In. If not, that's okay, I guess. Just as long as most of it gets gone. That, that's fine with me. So, I'm just going to keep that there. That should be fine. Yeah, I'll see you guys after the auction. Hopefully we sell a good bit of things. I think we will, but you never know. But I'll see you guys when it's over. Alright, so it's like almost 4.30. The shop's coming in. They're buying this Wilson trailer that didn't get sold for whatever reason. Kind of surprised. I'm surprised these trailers. These trailers are really popular and it didn't get sold. So. <laughs> uh, we got a wind row over here. No one likes the coon. Uh, Coon Merge Max. Come on, man. I'm just kidding. I don't really care. 
shop can take it back. And I got this little trailer and the little cultivator that no one wanted. So the shop's on their way to come get it. Um, I'm not really gonna really film them doing it, but most of everything got sold, and I made a good like uh, 700 grand, which isn't bad, which I'm actually very proud of. So uh, thank you to the people that did come to the auction or the yard sale chore. <laughs> In the next video, I will actually be going to the auction, and then the next episode after that, we'll be heading to Frankenworth, Michigan. So, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.